guys, Andrea Nepo back again. Um, at this point, it's May. It's been approximately three months since we took Nepo down um, with a number seven razor. Uh, I'll insert some photos here of what it looked like. It was pretty cool, actually. We uh, shaved him half and half for judges' educational purposes. Um, but the main purpose of this video today is to talk about washing and is to talk about rejuvenating the curls. Uh, so uh, let's go ahead and get started. Yes, as I said, this is about three months of coat coming from a, a number seven shaving all around. Uh, big thanks to my mother for helping me out. What we're going to be talking about today is you'll see here that the definition of his curls is not phenomenal right now. Um, it's probably been about a week or so since he got wet, um, and right now it's just basically kind of a fuzzy mess. I mean, especially if you look down here, I know I'm touching you, huh? Um, if you look down here, there's really no distinction to the curls. You can't see where one ends and the other begins. It's all just kind of a mess. So, what we're going to do is we're going to stop this here. I'm going to wash him and let him dry. Oh, Theo, you're so helpful. Um, and I'll check back with you when, you're dry, when he's dried so I can just show you the quality and what the water really does to help bring out the curl of the coat. So we'll see you guys in a couple hours. It's been about six hours later since I washed him. So let's take a look at the curls now, if he's gonna let us. As you can see, they're much more defined. And if we come over to that spot that was really terrible looking before, you can see where the individual curls are just popping. It's looking really nice, especially up here on his back and over on his side. So really, water does help rejuvenate the curls so that you can see their ends. And later on, as we actually have to separate these guys, it makes it a lot easier to actually see where the individual cords are and help you decide where you need to split. So there we are. 